This episode's FDR shoutout goes to The Extraordinaire. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. Hey, welcome back to Fish for Thought. Who would have thought you would find my channel? While you're here, please smash that like button. Sponsor this video by smashing the like button. For returning viewers, you might be wondering, where's Rapashi? Why isn't she in your video again? Chris, I'm not watching your video unless Rapashi's here. She is, she's, she's over there, she's sleeping. Ever since I got this bioactive terrarium for her. There's a corner that she likes to sleep in. I can see her, but I don't want to, you know, disturb her. I can take a video for you. See, she's right there. She's doing a chillax. She's doing a snooze. We should just leave her. For those of you who are about to go down to the comments below and comment, Chris, what the heck happened to your hair? Nothing much. I didn't cut it again. It's just... I just wake up and however the hair wants to be is however it's going to be that day. I don't have any control over it. Like I said, I don't own a comb. I don't have styling powers. I use shampoo. I don't think I use conditioner anymore. Anyway, this is not the topic of the video. Welcome back to another fish tank review. Review. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's such a bad tank. Talk about how the music do does not match the video. Basically just play the Wii music, the Wii shop music over a horror film. And that's what you got going on right here. We got plecos that are gonna grow probably more than half the length of that doorknob. One thing you should know about keeping beta, they need shallow tanks and they need a proper tank. Same thing with plecos. Plecos need a tank that's probably a hundred times bigger than those door handles. This is so unnecessary, it reminds me of just people using fish in general to be decoration at a wedding. There's nothing more than that. As the famous Kakashi Hatake once said, those who abandon their mission are scum, but those who abandon their friends for their mission are worse than scum. And even more, those who use fish as decoration purposes only are even worse than worse than scum. This guy has six bettas. According to him, if bettas really need a space and enrichment, all six of them should be dead by now. You can survive in a jail cell, no doubt. If you really need a space and enrichment, you would be dead. But you're not, so you don't need it, right? Oh hey, down in the comments below. Bet you could keep him in a cell for the next 60 years and he'd live. I see a man of culture such as myself. This tank is sent in by Ashley Gross Nicholas. Beta tank, Marimo Moss Ball. Woodscape is nice, planted. Hopefully that's a nutrient rich substrate. You're doing a good job. It's a dark background so it accents all of the greens and the colors of your beta. Good job, this is a proper Better fish tank. You can try scaping taller. I know you got that floater plant sort of situation going on, but there's still a bunch of empty space. 3.7 out of 5, keep it up. This restaurant has a dead Oscar fish floating in water so dirty you can't even see in the tank. I can't imagine anything else more appetizing. No, seriously. Anything else more appetizing than a dead Oscar in a disgusting, can you even call that a fish tank at that point? I would like to have that table and eat right in front of that fish tank. Nothing would make me happier and more appetizing. Give me more appetite. Nothing would give me more of an appetite. And they're wondering why no one goes to their restaurant. Karen, her goldfish jar. Me, a good fish keeper. Awkward. I finally found you, my beauty. <laughs> Just tosses, tosses the girl out. <laughs> Fills it with water, but, but, do you know how expensive an aquarium of this size is? Yeah, that's true. I would do that too. Jomer Volwater. Whoa, what a cool last name. Volwater. What a cool fish tank as well. That is amazing. Look at that backdrop. Super natural looking. White Cloud Mountain Minnows. <laughs> the fish that have eluded me since 2018, 2017. Because they're banned in my area. We got some cherry shrimp. Really nice. Oh, that red plant. The Anubius giving off new leaves, the Java Fern thriving, Valisneria not looking as good as the other plants, but still surviving regardless. Those are some gigantic quarries in the bottom. You sure take care of your fish quite well. 4.3 out of 5, keep it up. Autocorrect shouldn't correct fish species names. 
This needs to happen. Pisses me off when I spend like 30 seconds typing out a long complex scientific name and it gets corrected into Tyrannosaurus. Yes, autocorrect. Any complicated scientific name that minimally resembles Tyrannosaurus must be Tyrannosaurus. That is the only dinosaur there is. That is the only thing that people would describe with a scientific name. Tyrannosaurus. Logic checks out. Masiac Killian sent in this very unique tank. The colors are super unique. You don't see those kind of yellows every day. I love the plants scattered throughout and the central wood piece. The rocks are what is exquisite here. The lines are great and my favorite part of this is the smaller rocks, the attention to detail, and they're embedded very nicely into the substrate. It's different, but it's a beautiful scape. And you're definitely taking a lot of risks here and I think it's paying off. It's all mossed up as well. Really great. 4.75 out of 5. Keep it up. I joined Reddit because I just could not with this local ad. Is that a beta? Who died and made the tank so cloudy? 75 gallon aquarium. And there's one beta in there. Why is it that when the tank size is good, the conditions are just horrid. And when the tank size is really small, well, yeah, the conditions are also horrid. Why is it that bettas just have it so rough? Imagine this guy talking to his friends who has their betta in a bowl. Yo, my betta is in a 75 gallon. And they come over and they see that. Sure, but I mean, do better, man. 10 gallon aquarium with 11 fish selling as we have to move soon. Is that really the reason you want to sell this? Is it not because you just impulse bought a fish tank and you filled it up with your most favorite colors of the world in the form of barf gravel and then you put as many fish as you thought was a reasonable amount which was 11 fish. I don't know what scale you were going for, clearly no scale at all. It doesn't work with the inch per gallon, it doesn't work with the gallon per fish because you got 11. Maybe you're just really bad at math and you thought 11 equals 10. Even going by those terrible standards that don't make sense, it's still, you weren't going towards that. <laughs> Imagine not even using standards that made sense. Imagine how low those standards are or have to be. How nonsensical. A 10 gallon is the easiest thing to move in your house. Just put the fish in a bucket, drain the water, pick it up, put it in your new house. The couch, are you going to give that away because it, or the piano? Because it's way harder to move. Moving houses and having to give away your 10 gallon, that's not an excuse. The, the real excuse is we're tired of our fish tanks and these fish are boring now. Goodbye. Tim Comboy sent in this pretty darn big tank. It's planted, it's nice, it's got that centerpiece wood. Stocking wise, I think that's about good. It might even be a little bit understocked. Two things. The gravel, not a big fan of the Dalmatian sort of colors. Black and white is a little bit contrasting, especially if you've gone ahead and mixed it. Hopefully there is some sort of fertilizer in there because there's a lot of root feeding plants. Second thing, the center wood piece. It's a pretty good location to put it, but you could consider the uh, golden rule or the rule of thirds. Um, and if you're going for a island look, definitely just go in and commit to it, you know? Add more interesting lines surrounded with rock and then uh, replace or not replace but reposition your plants so that it's they're all coming out or growing out of a island center that will surely take your scape to the next level for now though 3.9 out of 5 keep it up why this might be the saddest attempt for interspecies for an interspecies attempt fish tank i don't know yeah some people are into like housing different very drastically different species like salamanders with fish or turtles with fish as you can see here and i'm kind of into it too i just never really tried it myself because i know it takes a lot certainly takes more than this five turtles that are going to be as big as the bottom of this tank in about a few years just want to make a bet <laughs> none of these five turtles are going to survive the bet is going to die in maybe a month or two depending on how much of a fighter that individual betta is because some of these bettas can live for a long time solely on willpower alone. They're amazing fish. Even through our abuse, yeah, they try to survive as long as possible. That's also why people are, think they're doing a good job by keeping them in a cup. It hasn't died. Remember the jail cell metaphor. To top it all off, we got the barf gravel and they are of a substantial size. This is somehow something I've never seen before, yet feels classic. I guess that's one thing that's impressive about this tank. You know it's a good tank if there's a Spongebob pineapple in it. Yeah, that's the first thing I look for as well. 
Any Spongebob references in a tank just makes the tank so much better. 1000 out of 5. Just buy the poor fish a bigger tank. This is the epitome of beating around the bush. It's like the elephant in the room. Instead of doing this weird thing where you've made something no one in their right mind would have thought of. So I guess you are a sort of genius in that way. I don't think you want to be known as the genius who made this beat around the bush contraption. Instead of that, go on my Instagram. Check out some of these people doing multiple tanks. They don't look like that. However, they look a billion times better. There's this guy, I forgot his name. I think it's Marius.scapeworld. Man, he's got a triple nano tank set up. One beside each other. It looks marvelous. Do something like that instead of, I don't know what to call it, instead of plumbing galore. This crap I was advertised. No filter, no air, tiny, and they're putting things like go fish into it that are literally touching the sides. I knew it! I called this contraption out a few FTRs ago how it looks like Lego, so that's one of the top marketing things where you're not going to be satisfied with one because you're going to want to build on top and get more and more and abuse more fish. Lo and behold, that's exactly what I was talking about. I guess it's no surprise. Yeah, I'm such a Sherlock, right? I'm just praising myself on the most obvious things that I've discovered. I mean, who wouldn't have seen this coming? Yo, we got Totoro and we got that Doraemon cat thing, I think. Pretty sure Miyazaki Films, Studio Ghibli want nothing to do with this crappy fish tank setup. And by the way, I don't know if you guys have seen Miyazaki Films, but there's usually a few weird, off-looking creatures in every single one of those films. By far, and I'm not even talking about the No Face guy or those other things in Spirited Away. In Totoro, I swear, cat bus is the most creepy invention of Studio Ghibli films. I don't know if you agree with me, but like, cat bus? The face is creepy enough, but then you actually go into the cat. It's a it's a bus, but it's a cat. Why? Just, just don't. Cat bus is not necessary. Cat bus fans, I'm sorry, I'm just stating my own opinion. I'll find enjoyment in cat bus if I have to, to keep you subscribed. Anyway, we've come to the end of this video. Hopefully it was enjoyable for you guys. I really hope so. And thank you for staying all the way till the end, pushing that algorithm and enjoying everything I have to say about crappy fish tanks, plus some good fish tanks. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. There'll be more videos to come and don't forget to get your hands wet.